You already know, man. Shout out to homie Mikey T, the movie star, man. We on Report Car Radio, Jersey, gang shit. Let's talk about 725. Can you, can you break down the meaning of that title for me? Um, yeah, I mean, I was just, I mean, I had a little tra traumatic incident, you feel me, type shit, you know, 725, like, it's the day I got hit, you know what I mean, so, the title was only fit, you feel me, and, you know, when I made the project, I was going, every, when I made the project, I was going through everything that, that came along with getting shot, you know what I mean, shit like that, the, the surgeries, the staples in my, like, at no time was I good making a project, doing that, you know what I mean, like, niggas had to help me up from the chair to go into the booth, you know what I mean, like, niggas had, I still had staples, like, I think I got, I start. I got shot in July, August, September, October, November. When did 7:25 drop? January. December, January. Yeah, like my last surgery was like November. You know what I mean? I had like three surgeries. You know what I mean? Uh, my wrist got broke, so I had to get surgery in my arm. I had to get surgery in my stomach twice. You know what I mean? Type shit. So like this was all in the mix of making that shit. You know what I mean? Getting the features, fly, um, going to Cali and all that shit. So you feel me? Like nigga was just thugging it out. You know what I mean? Like you like. Ain't nobody going to invest in you like you're going to invest in yourself. Ain't nobody going to put into you like you're going to put into yourself. You know what I mean? And, like, that ain't even, you feel me? I'm only saying that because the question arrives, like, realistically, like, that ain't for nobody to know. You know what I mean? Type shit. Like, I don't got to sit and, 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 and chat about, oh, yeah, I had 30 staples in my stomach while I was making 725. You know what I mean? Because that's my craft. That's what I want to do. It's what I want to believe. You know what I mean? It's what I believe in. You know what I mean? So, it's my shit. You feel me? Like... It is what it is. Like I said, these niggas had to help me at the stairs, you feel me? Like, I'm at the studio with the vest on, like, still, are we going to make it do what it do, you feel me? Yeah, that's one thing. Sometimes when you're doing music, doing the street shit, your money could get fucked up. But go on. Your life could get fucked up. I mean, everything could get fucked up, you know what I mean? That's a fact. You can't, like, you just can't do both. You know what I mean? Like, I understand the whole, like, jack-of-all-trades logic, but that shit don't really apply everywhere. Like, being a C average, you know what I mean, in everything is, like, that's average compared to being like an A++ at one thing, you know what I mean? So it's like, if you're going to be in the streets, lock in, be focused, because <laughs> it's real. You got cops, you got ops, you got, if you're going to rap, you got to rap, my nigga. Like, you got to, you can't, man, one in, one out is, is like, it's is very, very um detrimental. You feel me? It's very detrimental. It's very detrimental. So, uh, Sleepy as hell, man. I've been up for like two days between these shows and shit. I believe it, right, man. Right now is your moment. I'm working, bro. I'm working. Yeah, it really looks like everybody's taken to you, you know? I uh, I was following your career, obviously. You're doing great things, battle rap, getting into the music. Yeah. Then you get locked up. Yeah. So you get locked up, right? And then it's like, oh, shit, Sue Surf got locked up. It's fucking up the momentum. Yeah. Then you come home. You know, like, the the, the, the industry is a funny, a funny, like, the world, period. I don't even think it's just the industry. It's just, like all publicity like and i hate to say this out my mouth because this is actually why a lot of this chicanery is going on around here but it at some point all publicity is good publicity you know what i mean like or, like when it comes to entertainment you know what i mean because it, like the masses is about people viewing you about being seen and stuff like that you know what i mean so some of the dumb shit that we don't glorify that we don't want to promote is the reason that people want to pay you attention. It's like, oh, he's really, oh, that really, you know what I mean? And it's so weird. Like, you got a kid that might just be on a come up trying to do his thing. He might drop the dopest fucking tape ever. You know what I mean? And and because of pe they can't verify whatever it is he's talking about, whatever. You know what I mean? People don't take to it. But then somebody go get locked up and, you know what I mean? And the whole crowd is, like, cheering in some subconscious kind of weird way. You know what I mean? Uh, like, it takes for me to, like, obviously, my, you know what I mean, my battle rap number's been crazy. You know what I mean? But why does it take for somebody to get shot or, you know what I mean, somebody to go through something like that for, you know what I mean, you take, like, the baby or something. You know, he had his little situation in Walmart and stuff like that. His fire, his music's dope, and I'm sure uh, his music didn't just start being dope after his incident in Walmart. You know what I mean? So it's like, why does it take that? But I guess, I don't know, you know, I feel like, I guess it complete the narrative. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I guess life's a story. You know, so when you get somebody and you can actually tap into their story and tune into their story and you can verify their story, then I guess it make the music better. You know what I mean? So, yeah, people have been paying attention these last 24 months or whatever you want to call it. So as I was saying, then you come home yeah. and you got shot five times. Something like that happening to you, how did that affect your life? How did that make you think different, fresh home? I mean, everything. Like, nothing's the same. Like, nothing is the same. 
Like, you could just be sitting there drinking water and shit. Like, dog, I probably could have never been drinking a bottle. Like, nothing is the same. You know what I mean? And it's not just, like, like I said, I don't glorify that shit. So it's not just getting shot. Like, is any, you could be in a car accident. You could have a stroke. You could have, a, like, that thin line between life and death is, like, follicle hair thin. Like, and motherfuckers don't realize that shit. You feel me? So, like, everything different. You know what I mean? Like... I, I might have missed it, you know, I might be doing something, whatever, like something that's semi-important and the phone might ring and my daughter might call and it's like, alright, I just call her back. Never, like I won't, I can't miss a call from my daughter, I can't miss a call from my mom, I can't miss a call, you know what I mean, like just the smallest things change, you know what I mean, like and it's forever, forever, I just, you, it just makes a new person, you know what I mean, like there's a, there's a, there's a whole new motherfucker, like, like you get shot five times, like somebody tried to kill me. Yeah, and you know, I saw the lifestyle you were living before that, you know, watching your IG lives and shit. You were having a fun lifestyle, you know what I mean? Getting money, having fun with your friends, place to place. A lot of that changes after something like that happens? Nah, you actually, you actually indulge in it more, you know what I mean? Because when you think, like, when you really think about it, like, I have no problem, you know what I mean? As a man, the first thing you do is you accept responsibility, you know what I'm saying? So it's like... When when we talking about these these other rappers and things like these are my peers, these are my friends, you know, like Kyrie, like basketball players, like Kyrie Irving, that's my brother, that's my friend, you know what I mean? Me and Hart, and that's my man, you know what I mean? Close like uh, KDs and like I love Davies, I love Don Q, I love Mozzie, certain niggas, you know what I mean? Like these is my peers, but at some point I would just rather rip and run and be in the streets, you know what I mean? Type shit when realistically I could be at somebody's house playing 2K or somebody else chilling or somebody out the way, you know what I mean? But you know, you be so stuck and addicted to your habitat that you almost forget that the other shit is out there. Or, you know, like if you've never been there, how would you know that the love is there? You know what I mean? Like I, if I've never been to Texas before, you know what I mean? I just went to Texas and the love's ridiculous. Like, you know, what I mean? and it was my first time there and I'm like, damn, they fuck with me like this out here. You know what I mean? You start seeing more and it's like, so after a while, it's like, why even be in the streets? You know what I mean? Like, why be outside? That, it kind of don't make sense. You know what I mean? When you get to a certain position, though, I'm, you know, I mean, for me, you know what I mean? Because, like I said, I'm, I'm never going to be the preacher or the pastor. You know what I mean? Like, being outside makes sense for somebody. It's a fucked up world, but that's how it is. Right now, somebody has to be outside. You know what I mean? And all you could do is just hope that he make it back in the house. I mean...